the people around me are these guys and this guy will on me every single day yeah, no matter how thing. i know it is right that's what i'm saying these guys keep me in check you know because you yeah. say you got six years into this big goal that you set now you did it now you did it well now you're like well fuck yeah I just do it again. Like and now all of a sudden you just yeah. took like a six year plan and now you have to start figuring out what do I do for the next year? So it's no longer a long term game, but you have to figure out how to make it a long term yeah. game. I think one of the hardest things for people to do in our sports or our kind of life is when you achieve a goal that you had set out, if that's the ultimate mm -hmm. goal, when you've achieved the ultimate one. Turning pro, yeah. it could be for some people. Yeah, like, yeah it yeah. doesn't have to be winning the Olympia. Yeah, like, yeah. If it's no matter what the goal is, when you've achieved it, it's having the being able to keep the spark going to keep doing it again and again. Because once you've achieved it, you're like, OK, I did it. Yeah. And it's like you don't really know what to do with yourself after that. No, you don't. And <laughs> and it takes it takes a different kind of person to like not just keep doing it, but keep doing it the same intensity you're doing it before you reach that yeah. goal no those those are rare people like, yeah. right those are rare people and i always think it's always the people you have around you but those rare people need to really have good people around them. yeah like when yeah. you think of like a, a lee haney ronnie coleman a phil yeah. heath or jay cutler these guys that win like eight seven four five dorian yates with five mr olympias like that's a fucking it you, is but like once you're, like once, you're, once you're the best in the world how do you fire it back up to be the best in the world again well, no, I no, no, no. It's not that. Go ahead. I think I think it's more the like idea of okay, okay, you've done one. Okay, you got to set a new goal. You got to set a new drive. You got to really pick up something. Well, I think the drive changes because now you've won this, yeah. right? So let's just say you win the Olympia. Yeah. Your mind, your even if you don't want it to, your mind's going to change. Like, look, now I'm the best of the best. I want to set myself up. Yeah. I want to get something so, out of yeah. this now. Like on that climb up, you're not really that concerned. Should I get something out of this? Well, no. you're in debt. Yeah. It's a risk. Yeah. All yeah. this. Now it's like, how can I make sure that this is going to matter in five years, ten yeah. years? You know, is there a way financially? So now all these other things come into the picture that weren't there before. Well, one of the interesting questions that kind of I, I would like to delve yeah. into Sam's mind is, what's it like going from? I'm fucking doing construction to bodybuild to winning a three hundred thousand dollar check, like that. Can you imagine? Like, it's <laughs> most guys. Are, most guys are. I'll tell you what's going to go through. Is mine is going to shit when he sees how much gets taken. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> like, listen, listen. <laughs> most bodybuilders and they're grinding out. They may never win a show, or they may win a small show, ten grand. Mm -hmm. That's a big fucking show, man. You know, walking away with 300 yeah. grand, that's another That's another thing mm -hmm. altogether. But so it's not really 300 grand. He's but, in the yeah, UK. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Like 150. Yeah, 150. doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, it's still, no. if, if you go from 10 to 150, yeah. you're still like, how does that, have you been thinking about that at all? Oh, yeah. Of course. You know. How would you not? No, 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 no because, because a lot of people, a lot of people don't. It feels, it does feel surreal. And this is one thing where I kind of said, like, you know, because partly is like, you know, you always go back to the same grounded space you were in before all this, you know, because I remember like, one of the reasons I love you living in the UK and you know, as much as people say, oh, you gotta move to the US. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I don't want it because I'll get comfortable. Mm -hmm. So I can go back to that same normal house, same gym, same everything, nothing's changed. And you go there and you meet the same people you've been meeting and training with from God when you said started. So in that rock, you're still just as grounded as you are. There's, nothing's really changed. What if it was 10 million though? <laughs> well, now he's driving up to the gym in a Ferrari. It's yeah, right. Yeah. But, but then, but then, I think this is. But then, this thing is about. It's about having people to keep you grounded. Yeah. You know, you have to have that. You have to stay grounded. You, I think when the minute you stop, everything starts feeling too comfortable. That's when you kind of feel like, yeah, you know, don't, I can take it easy to now or anything like that. But I think to keep that hunger, you have to stay in a position where you are. That you are in a position where it doesn't feel like anything's changed. Can I? Can I tell you guys something? I, I wrote a post today. And I deleted it because it was too fucking mushy. But it's funny that you said that because the people around me are these guys. Mm -hmm. And this guy will shit on me every single day. Yeah, no matter how. Thing. I know it is, right? That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. These guys keep me in check. Mm -hmm. So it's yep. like, this is what he's talking about. It's yeah. like, if the people around you aren't yes men, if yep. they can keep you. They keep you grounded. Right? And I don't know a lot of people yeah. successful. You'll be. Yeah. And this is the thing. Um, it's going to happen more now. Yeah, but right. the thing is, this is the thing is. It's almost like that whole idea of oh, keep your keep your circle small. You don't, you know, those people that were there before everything, 
are still the people that have to be there when everything is there and they're yeah. going to be there when everything is gone so it's really understanding that and knowing that yeah you're going to have loads of people making no noise but you know that you're only here because you know me now yeah you didn't know yeah. me two years yeah. ago. you didn't care three years ago yeah. You just know me now. So as much as, yeah, you might be genuine or not, but I can't fully trust you. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I don't know if this all disappears tomorrow. Are you, I, yeah. yeah. Are you going to be here? You yeah. Know? So is that mindset and that thing we've had right from, you know, right from, you know, last year and everything else is going, okay, you know what? Watch yourself. I think Sam. Yourself. I think Samson's wife is a big part of that too. Yeah. She's oh, very, yeah. <laughs> Samson's, Samson's yeah. wife, my, Mel, is very, very grounded. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think they look after each other very closely. Yeah. And it's, it's a, it's a, they're, they're a very good team together. Well, out of out of everybody in his life, and I'm just speculating here, she's probably the only one that's going to call him out on this bullshit. Oh, no, but you know, but you know, some women, right? You Listen, that. this is what I'm saying. Like some yeah. women, and I'm probably generalizing. So please, if whatever women are listening, don't get pissed off. But whatever, some some women might be like, oh, he went 300k. Let's go get a purse. Let's go get a this. Let's go. You know, it's like, and, and Mel's not like that. She's like, no, no, we, we're still working. Like yeah. we're still. Yeah. So yeah. it's like that's what I mean. It's not like. Like, I don't feel like when I, when I think of Mel, I don't think of her changing or changing the way she talks to him. No. Yeah. So that's, I think that's a really big thing to have, right, in your corner. I think yeah. the other thing as well, and it, it's the same across all of anyone that's in the gym that's achieving anything, we all start off for free. Yeah. We all start off because we just love it and we do it. Yeah. You want to win Olympia? You know, I don't know anyone that's trying to win Olympia for the prize money. No. No. There's more. The dream starts with that, yeah. that, that, that title. And at some point, I mean, like I'm retired from competing, you're retired. You're retired. Mm -hmm. At some point, you're not going to have to do it anymore. At some point, you are not going to be yeah. 300 pounds and able to lift what you do. And keep. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, okay, you might achieve whatever you set out early on, but don't remember that, that little kid in here. That's at the back there that started out. Don't forget, you mean? Yeah, don't forget that. Okay, yeah. Why you started? Because if you can keep that alive, I think that's where well. That's easy to do, right? Because as as you move up in sport, you're you're you be you, you move from one bubble to another bubble, you right? Know, like, no, no. Well, you guys all live in the IFBB Pro bubble, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Every show you do is a pro show, yeah. you know, or it's a show that you're putting on. And if it's a show that you're putting on, you're you're the promoter. So you're in this different bubble, yeah. right? So then you see the politics of that bubble. You see the people of that bubble. You see all that. Then really quickly, you forget the person that just got on the stage for the first time. Maybe they look like shit, you know, maybe it's, but maybe it's the first thing they ever actually said that they were going to do that they started and finished. Yeah, yeah. 